A special blend of affordability and convenience has given rise in popularity to ride-hailing and ride-sharing applications here in Jamaica. The modern infusion has, however, been married to unfavorable ordeals, including murders and robberies. It's why such a service, at least for the next year, will be banned effective immediately. Natalia Clark has the latest. In March last year, 37-year-old Devroy Peart responded to an in-driver taxi charter request. His vehicle was trailed and he and his two passengers were killed. Two months later, on May 14, 26-year-old Leroy Page was carrying out in-driver services when he disappeared. The part-time student's vehicle was soon found scrapped in Red Hills, St. Andrew. Around the same time, a woman shared on social media how an in-drive operator attempted to kidnap her in Kingston. Since then, there have been several reports of robberies and assault connected to the transnational ride-sharing app. The latest came on Monday, when skeletal remains, believed to be those of missing teacher Daniel Anglin, were found. The police say it appears that she employed the services of an in-drive operator who then killed her and dumped her body in. The suspect operates one of those rideshare service. One of the challenges that we are faced with as investigators is we do not have any local-based association or organization that we can contact when investigating cases involving these type of services. And that's why Transport Minister Darl Vaz today called for the immediate ban on all ride-sharing apps locally. Until such time as we can come to the table and work out properly how these apps will be regulated in terms of making sure that safety, background checks of the drivers are done not only by the app, the right to your apps, but by the Jamaican authorities. He says a Cable and Wireless Jamaica Limited and its local affiliates are directed to restrict access through its network to InDrive, Uber, 876 On The Go, Lyft and Ride Jamaica. He also shares that for some time now, the ministry has been attempting to engage all stakeholders in the subsector, but notes only one international provider responded favorably. The only overseas provider that has indicated their willingness to operate within the legal framework is Uber. They came, I summoned them, and they came from corporate office to Jamaica to sit down with me and the team to have a discussion. And the bottom line is that it was a useful discussion that continues. A meeting is to be held this week with local ride-sharing service providers, while problem-bound in-drive remains elusive. The minister says he will go to the end of the world to ensure the ban is not just enacted, but enforced. And I make no apologies. I have a responsibility. Eh? I have the responsibility as a minister and an elected representative to protect the lives of the people. The ban will run for a year or until a regulatory regime is in place. President of one of Jamaica's largest taxi associations, Edgerton Newman, is welcoming the move. Until they can prove to the people of Jamaica that they are authentic, that they've gone to the, the channels, of this country, which means the transport authority, to get all the, the, the regulations in place, they should pack their bags and go. Natalia Clark, CVM News.